This is site number two. This is uh, 1.8 miles further back on County or Forest Road 765 from where our first site would be. This is further back towards the town of Ten Cup. Uh, this is secondary because I, it's out in the open and as long as the weather is nice, this is great. But if it gets windy or starts to rain, um, this can get uh, a little less comfortable. Um, the other thing is getting in here, we can do it. Obviously there's big rigs in here, uh, but it's uh, not as smooth uh, coming in. So we'd have to take some time. So this is uh, 1.8 miles further back from the original site and 0.8 miles from the uh, Taylor Park dump station and straight back there about um, I guess three miles is the town of Tin Cup. So that gives you an idea. And of course more ATVs and UTVs. Uh, so for reference this is Forest Service Road 725. And that will give you an idea of what we've got. Again on the other side is my property. It's all fenced off but kind of hard to see but there's a stream down there so the streams all the way down there and we have rainbows uh, in there we have cutthroat we have brown trout it's uh, fun if you're into fly fishing um, the other thing we have is the Taylor Park trading post I may have mentioned that earlier uh, if we want to rent a pontoon boat it'll hold about eight people that is $250 for a half a day. It's best to go out early in the morning, go like a eight to noon. So I can arrange that if people are up for that. But uh, this is boondock camping. There's no fee involved for the camping itself. So you don't need to pay for any of that. Um, the dump station, I believe, stand by. I think I got one of their brochures here. The dump station is $8 to dump for uh, one visit so not bad all right hope that helps video in regards to firewood for the rally you don't need to bring any if you have an electric chainsaw like an 18 volt dewalt milwaukee whatnot bring that we're at uh forest road service uh, road 765.1b we're about a mile and a half before the town of tin cup we're about uh mile mile and a half from the dump station that i was just at uh they're doing some clearing up here in Taylor Park, and this firewood is available to us. So unlike quartzite, we don't need to stress about um, finding wood. We've got it here. Um, if we could get a couple people to bring up some uh, electric chainsaws, I've got gas powered, but uh, the electrics are so much easier. Um, this is an area where a lot of people, well, in fact, there's one coming down right now, uh, ATV in. Uh, that goes up to a uh, gold mine called Red Buck Mine. Um, that's now uh, owned uh, the mining rights by Gerald Bohr out of Kansas, but uh, that's an area we could explore. I have his permission for that. Um, Mr. Bohr also has uh, dozens of other gold mines that uh, um, he could take us on a tour of, but uh, as far as firewood, don't bring it. Next stop, Town of Tin Cup. Alright, coming into the Town of Tin Cup. Uh, lots of ATVs. Uh, this is 15 miles per hour through here. You want to observe it. Uh, these people have to deal with this ATV traffic all summer long, and they're not fans of it. So, this is the town of Tin Cup. Welcome to Colorado. This is God's country. Please do not drive through it like hell. Amen to that. So, there are uh, these are all mining houses from the 1800s. Uh, this is Frenchie's Cafe that has a history here been rebuilt obviously this town burnt down in the late 1800s early 1900s you got the tin cup store elevation 10,157 feet and we've got the uh, town hall that also functions as the church church services on Sunday morning square dances are on Friday night they start Memorial Day and Labor Day so this is the four-way stop into the town of Tin Cup. Right in front of us is Cumberland Pass. Uh, if you take a left of the stop sign, that's going to take you up to Mirror Lake. 
which if you take over the top of that, uh, you have a 10-cup pass and uh, some pretty great rides. You have St. Elmo and Pitkin here. Um, these are uh, old cabins. A lot of these were built in their early uh, 1900s or late 1800s. Um, and they're summer getaways for folks. So this is right down the street from where we're at. It's uh, fun to come down here, explore, see some of the old places. Obviously, with uh, me having a home up here, I know quite a few people, which is a huge resource. So, there will be some nights where we have uh, people joining us uh, to uh, be part of uh, what we got going on for festivities and entertainment. So, we'll be doing that. But, uh, that gives you guys an idea.